All right, so this is a screencast on using the law of reflection, a protractor, and some very careful measurements to predict the path that light would take. So if I had a light beam coming in from this direction, reflecting off of a mirror, which is represented by the this dark line here, what would the path of light do? This is our incident beam. or our incident ray. And everything is always going to be relative to the normal line. So you're going to draw a normal line at the point where the light ray strikes the mirror. The normal line is a line, an imaginary line that is 90 degrees. So I put a mark there at the 90 degree that mark there and where the ray hits the mirror are the two lines that I need to make my normal line or the two points that I need to make my normal line I usually make my normal line as a dotted line because it's a reference the light never actually f follows this path it's just a reference point for uh, for everything so now I measure my angle relative to the normal line I measure the angle that the incident beam makes with the normal. So this is 10, 20, 30, 5, 36 degrees. So the angle of incidence, or theta sub i, is equal to 36 degrees. So once I have my angle of incidence, I can then mark my angle of reflection. My angle of reflection is going to be 36 degrees in the other direction. So 10, 20, 35, 36 degrees will be right here. So again, two points. Show me where to put my line, where the ray strikes the mirror, and then the second point is there. This is my ref my reflected ray. And again, this angle, theta sub r, is equal to 36 degrees. And let me carefully check these. So I line up my protractor. Now, if you're off by, in the challenges, if you're off by one degree, that means you're getting a B instead of an A. So you have to be very precise in these measurements. So this is 10, 20, 35, 36. And this one, 10, 20, 35, 36. So let's see how close I came to making an accurate prediction. I'll put my target here. I'll put the mirror on the paper. Carefully positioning that. There's my mirror. Let's see how reflected ray does. I line it up with the incident. Look at that. Almost perfect. Not quite. But that's the process that you go through in order to determine the reflected or the angle of reflection. Now, while it's true that this angle and this angle are the same, when we start doing refraction, you can't measure it relative to the surface. Everything should always be measured relative to the normal. So your angle is you want to be measuring this angle and this angle, always relative to the line perpendicular to the surface. And that's it.